Once upon a time, in a small town in the United States, there was a white police officer named Jack. Jack had always wanted to be a cop since he was a child, and he had worked hard to make that dream a reality. However, he was known among his colleagues for his aggressive behavior, especially towards people of color. One day, Jack was patrolling the streets when he saw a black man named Marcus driving his car. Marcus was driving home from work, minding his own business, when Jack pulled him over. Jack asked to see Marcus' driver's license and registration, and Marcus complied, confused as to why he was being stopped. Jack looked at the documents and then asked Marcus to step out of the car. Marcus was nervous and asked Jack why he was being asked to get out of his car. Jack didn't answer, but instead began to pat Marcus down. Marcus protested, telling Jack that he had done nothing wrong, but Jack ignored him and continued to search him. After Jack found nothing on Marcus, he began to accuse him of being involved in a robbery that had taken place in the area. Marcus was shocked and denied the accusation, but Jack didn't believe him. Jack began to yell and get physical with Marcus, pushing him up against the car. Marcus, feeling scared and helpless, knew that he needed to do something to protect himself. He began to record the incident on his phone, hoping that he could use the footage to prove his innocence. Jack, seeing that he was being recorded, became even angrier and threatened to arrest Marcus for resisting arrest. At this point, Marcus was terrified and didn't know what to do. He called his wife, who was a lawyer, and told her what was happening. She immediately rushed to the scene and began to argue with Jack, telling him that he had no right to harass her husband. Jack became even more angry, but Marcus' wife stood her ground, refusing to back down. Eventually, other officers arrived at the scene and began to question Jack about his behavior. It became clear that Jack had no evidence to support his accusations against Marcus and that he had violated several police protocols during the incident. Marcus' wife and the other officers demanded that Jack be held accountable for his actions. After an investigation, Jack was suspended from the police force and charged with harassment and assault. Marcus and his wife were relieved to see justice served, and they knew that they had done the right thing by standing up to Jack. They hoped that their experience would serve as a wake-up call to others, reminding them of the importance of treating all people with respect and dignity, regardless of their race or ethnicity. In the end, Marcus and his wife realized that they were lucky to have each other in a strong support system to help them navigate the difficult situation. They knew that many other people of color were not so fortunate and continued to face discrimination and injustice on a daily basis. They pledged to use their experience to advocate for change and to work towards a world where everyone could live free from fear and harassment. In the days following the incident, Marcus' story gained national attention, with many people expressing outrage over the way he had been treated. Activists and civil rights organizations rallied around Marcus and his family, calling for an end to police brutality and racial profile. Marcus was interviewed by several media outlets, where he shared his experience and spoke about the need for change. He spoke about the fear and anxiety he felt during the encounter with Jack, and how it was a constant reality for many people of color. Marcus' story became a rallying cry for many, and protests erupted across the country in support of him and other victims of police brutality. People marched in the streets, demanding accountability and change. The incident also sparked a conversation within the police force about the need for better training and accountability. Many officers recognized the need to build better relationships with communities of color, and to work towards rebuilding trust. Marcus and his wife continued to speak out and advocate for change, using their platform to raise awareness about the issue of police brutality. They met with lawmakers, community leaders, and other activists, working towards real solutions that could help prevent incidents like the one they had experienced. As time went on, Marcus and his wife found strength in the community they had built around them. They continued to fight for justice, but they also found joy in the small moments of life. They cherished the time they spent with each other and their children, and they made a point to enjoy the simple pleasures that life had to offer. Years later, Marcus and his wife looked back on the incident with a mix of sadness and pride. They were sad that they had to go through such a traumatic experience, but they were proud of the way they had stood up for themselves and for others. They knew that their story had helped spark a movement, and they were grateful for the opportunity to make a difference. They hoped that one day, incidents like the one they had experienced would be a thing of the past, and that all people would be treated with dignity and respect.